rise to salute the flag and remain standing for a pledge of allegiance. Excuse me for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Thank you. Item number one, acceptance of meeting minutes, discussion and possible vote. <clears throat> With regard to the acceptance of meeting minutes from the meeting of April 19th, 2017. Okay, you all have the new minutes in front of you. Do you have a motion to accept the minutes? Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Juicy, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Item number two, purchase of property. Mary Lombardi requests discussion and vote for the purchase of property located at 12 to 14 Barrett Avenue for expansion of school property. Mary Lombardi could not be here. He had to leave for an event. I told him I would speak on this issue. You all have the purchase and sales agreement in front of you. If you've been down to that property, um, the purchase of that house would allow us to position the, the new school in a way that would uh, allow more ingress and egress for the uh, residents dropping their kids off. And as we all know, um, that's been an issue since I went to Stephen only probably 20 years ago. Um, is there any questions on the property? I'll make a motion that we uh, purchase the property. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Juicy, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any further questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. <coughs> Item number three, solar project update. Mayor Lombardi requests discussion and vote for an update on the solar project. Could you just state your name for the record? Thank you, Mr. President. Good evening, members of the council. My name is Charles Ruggiero. I'm here on behalf of the town. And I'm here to provide a very brief update on the status of the existing solar project on the landfill site and also request consideration of a second amendment to the ground lease executed between the town and SSRENP. Um, by way of an update, Mr. President, um, as you're aware, we had an approval of an assumption of the original ground lease, the net meter agreement, and that approval was done back in February uh, by this council, assigning all of the obligations formerly of Fry Energy to um, the new entity, which was SSRENP. And at the time, the modification that we made and the first amendment to the ground lease really consisted primarily of modifications to dates, names, and accomplished the assumption of all the obligations that were formerly beholden to Fry to the new entity, SSRE. Um, as it currently stands, they're in the process of completing the required permitting from DEM and one of the some of the remaining obligations for that permitting uh, process include the passing of a health and safety plan and an update to the OMM plan, which is the operation monitoring and maintenance plan that the town is obligated to adhere to for the closing of the landfill. So there's an OMM plan, there's a post-closure monitoring plan, all of which encompass the town's obligations for having closed a landfill. Its obligation to monitor that site, its obligation to continue to test that site to ensure that there are no environmental hazards present. Um, so what we have before you for your consideration this evening accomplishes two things. It delineates the environmental responsibilities of both SSRE and the town um, so that we can update both the OMM plan and the post-closure monitoring plan. So the agreement specifically provides for any obligation that occurs as a result of the operation of a landfill, excuse me, as a result of the operation of a solar site on the landfill belongs to SSRE. So any environmental hazard that may be triggered by operating that type of facility on a landfill site is assumed by SSRE. Any other obligation with regard to the testing, the monitoring, that would otherwise have occurred to the town for having a landfill that has been closed 
remains with the town. So really the, the way that we've defined the obligations in the second amendment to the ground lease would continue to treat the town's responsibility as if there was no solar site present and the obligation on behalf of SSRE is in the event that there is any environmental hazard that occurs as a result of operating a solar facility on the site belongs to SSRE. So in addition to that, there was also a need to move out because of the permitting process, the rent commencement date. So the rent commencement date would be extended to at the very latest, January 1, 2018. And one of the things that we went back and forth with SSRE and their council about was having a drop dead date. You know, this is a project, as this council is aware, has been kicking around for some time. I think and it was initially, um, we were initially looking at sometime around 2014 or 2015 to be operable because of the assignment that had to occur to SSRE, the permitting process, we've been substantially delayed. So what we've, what we've done with this amendment is we've provided for a rent commencement date that shall begin no later than January 1, 2018. So regardless of where we are, where SSRE is, I should say, in the permitting process, regardless of where they are in the construction process, the town has the assurance that they will begin to collect rent and this will be an economically viable project for the town beginning no later than January 1, 2018. So those are the two purposes that we seek your approval of this second amendment to the ground lease. And uh, we believe it's you know, a fair agreement between the parties that will expedite and hopefully get this project to be economically viable for the town as soon as it possibly can. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Does anybody have any questions? Hey, just one question. Councilman? Sure. January of 2018 is gonna be done. That's the drop dead date for, even if the project is not online, that will be the date for which the town will begin to receive rent pursuant to the, to the lease agreement. So regardless of where they are in the permitting process, regardless of whether the project is online, the obligation to pay the town rent would begin no later than January 1, 2018. Well, when is the facility going to be up and working? From speaking to the environmental consultants in the meeting that we had with both Mr. Uh, Branca and Mr. Palumbo and the other environmental consultants we had, they expected the completion of the permitting process to be within the next four months, and they would expect construction to begin immediately thereafter. Um, I don't know exactly how long construction would take. By the, by the conversation we had, it would seem as if the project would be online, I think, no longer than uh, seven or eight months from now with the completion of construction. So it's January of 2018? Correct. But in the event there is any stumbling block to that, you know, I think the purpose of this amendment would be that we would begin to receive our rent at the latest at that time regardless. Does anybody have any other questions? Councilman? The liability aspect. So if I understood it correctly, right now we don't, we don't know if there's any environmental impact issues. But in the event that they stop construction and those arise, that's their responsibility. Correct. So as you can imagine, there's a host of potential environmental liability issues that may occur during the course of construction. In the event, for example, the, the cap is punctured during the course of construction, that liability would be the responsibility of SSRE to cure that. Okay. Thank you. But all the other liability associated with having a landfill that has been closed remains with the town. Okay. Any further questions? Okay, do I have a motion to approve the amendment to the solar project? So moved. Second. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman Fiola. <laughs> Any further questions or comments? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? <laughs> the ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you. Proposed ordinances. Notice was given of a public hearing on this day whereby the town council will consider passage of the following proposed ordinances. Ordinance 16-007 as amended, an ordinance amending ordinance 16-007, the operating budget <coughs> ordinance forever, FY 16-17. Do I have a motion to adopt ordinance 16-007 as amended? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion's been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman Juicy. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? 
Aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. Item number five, ordinance 17-001, an ordinance repealing ordinance number 16-013 of the Code of Ordinances of the Town of North Providence to have a motion to adopt. So moved. Motion been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman Juicy. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. Item number six, liquor license. Notice was given of a public hearing to be held on this date in the Providence Journal on April 14th and 21st, 2017 for a BV full liquor license from Camp Nowhere, LLC, DBA, Camp Nowhere, 1838 Smith Street, North Providence, Rhode Island, 02911. Is there anyone here from Camp Nowhere? Just state your names for the record, please. Ezra Spitzer-Williams. Thank James Kosky, 725 Branch Avenue, Providence, Rhode Island. Thank you. You all have the information in front of you. Is there any questions for these gentlemen? I have a question. Councilman? The, the um, downstairs, you guys plan on using downstairs for an amusement room or? Not for anything operational. No, no just nothing space, space, space and storage. Yeah. Uh, strictly storage. That, so that office space, that's it. Okay. Thank you. That's the question I have. Councilman? Your plans for the facility include everything indoors, no, no outside decks, no nothing to that matter. No expansion to the premises. Mm -hmm. Painting the building, new signage. I'm sorry? Well, we're painting, painting the building, new signage and stuff but like that. No out, like no outside food eating, no outside, you know? No, no sir. Okay. So clean up of the area. Correct. Yes. Uh, including the parking lot, including the painting on the building, including everything else? It'll look immaculate when we're done. We, we do good business. I, uh, I own a restaurant in Socket, and it's the first thing people say when they come in is immaculate. Is there uh, any other questions? Is there any residents here to speak on behalf of this? Anyone else that would like to? Good evening. My name is Richard Fagnett from One Socket. I'm a city councilman and a liquor commissioner. It's an honor to be here tonight amongst Thank you, sir. some of my fellow colleagues. I came here tonight because I'm business friendly. And these gentlemen came into one socket over a year ago. And they moved into a very undesirable area that we've been trying to fix up. And they really did a great job fixing up the facade <coughs> and uh, getting rid of the riffraff that seemed to be hanging around in that area. And we are so happy that they chose Woonsocket because like North Providence, we need tax dollars very badly. And uh, they asked me if I would speak on their behalf. And I had a conversation last night at our council meeting with our public safety director if there was any problems, violations, or anything. And he said, no, they're squeaky clean. We have no problems, we don't go there. So we appreciate that too because we don't want our policemen in harm's way. So if you would grant these licenses tonight, you're going to get yourself a nice corporate, uh, two corporate gentlemen that uh, I, I think the world of. I'm happy. Uh, we've worked with them uh, as far as the council to enhance. Uh, and uh, great guys. So you're very fortunate that you'll have them uh, at 1838. Uh, Camp Nowhere, that's a very interesting name, by the way. Uh, but again, I endorse them 100 percent, and I hope you are favorable tonight on your decision. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you. And I commend you for coming before us. Uh, in my six years on this council, that's probably the first time a, a yeah, council person say. from another area when came when on I behalf elected, of business owners. That's when I got volumes. elected in uh, December, and I raised my hand. Uh, I do things outside the box. You know, I would go to the ends of the earth for businesses, and uh, these we gentlemen. We appreciate that. I, that's why I did this tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman. What is the name of, of the business in Woonsocket? Uh, Cowboys. 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 Thanks. It's like the Texas Roadhouse themed um, restaurant. We play country music. Is that what place. you're going to do here? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm, is that what you're going to do here? No. no. So, so Camp Nowhere and kind of the theme came from a place that I recently visited in uh, Red Hook, Brooklyn, New York, and it was done amazingly. Like, the interior was great, like log cabin themed. Um, they serve s'mores. It's a really cool new concept, I think. Well, but it's, it's different than just, I think it'll be really good. We're gonna do it really nice. We just purchased 
I think 50,000 board feet of reclaimed timber from a mill that was taken down on Branch Avenue. Um, and that stuff's not cheap. We're gonna, we're building all the tables and chairs now um, out of it. Everything's gonna be custom made on the inside. The walls are gonna be all pallet wood. It's gonna be super cool concept, I think. And what are you gonna serve for food? What kind of food? All right, so we do, every menu's different. We develop a menu um, with Reinhardt Foods. So one of my people that I went to Johnson & Wales with that I graduated with is one of the top guys at Reinhardt. And what we do is we sit down with them and basically we just build a menu with their chefs and stuff like that. We're in the process now. We're looking to do a lot of um, like sliders and oh, yeah. stuff like that. It's going to be upscale bar food. When do you expect it to open? Like when do you plan on opening? Hopefully the end of June, middle of July, somewhere around there. Everything goes like sometimes you hit snags. A lot of times you hit snags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I um. I know myself, I represent the area, Councilman DiLorenzo and Councilman Brady represent that area and uh, I think we look forward to something coming there and cleaning that area up. I've gotten a lot of complaints about the back of the building, um, the back parking lot area and I noticed- Graffiti on the side of the building. Yeah, you guys have been doing some work over there. Those, wow, those chairs that were removed. Those chairs, they're already on the trailer. Yeah. Way out. Those chairs yeah. were a thorn in my side for about two years, so um, yeah. thank you. No and, and welcome to the town of North Province. So with that being said, I'd like to entertain a motion to grant the liquor license. I'll make a motion. The motion has been made by Councilman Mendy Lorenzo. Do I have a second? Se seconded by Councilman Brady. Any further questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you. You might as well just stay here. Uh, item number seven, victualing license. No. no, no. <laughs> you, got you, got, you got two more. <laughs> a couple more. Three more. Three more. Victualing license, town council consideration and possible vote on an application for a victualing license filed by Camp Nowhere LLC DBA Camp Nowhere, 1838 Smith Street, North Providence, Rhode Island 02911. Motion. Motion. Second. Motion to grant the victualing license has been made by Councilman DiLorenzo, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? There be a none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? You guys have it. Entertainment license, town council to consider a vote for the approval of an entertainment license for Camp Nowhere LLC, DBA, Camp Nowhere, 1838 Smith Street, North Providence, Rhode Island, 02911. Mr. President, I have a question. Councilman. Uh, what time do you guys plan on closing uh, on a weekend? What's, what is your schedule? What are you doing for a schedule? Uh, as far as hours are concerned. 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. After about, um, yeah, after 90 days, we can reevaluate and see if we possibly would like to open earlier on Friday and Saturday. I mean, on Saturday and Sunday. So one will be your max time even on a weekend? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the thank you. And we don't do live bands or DJs or anything like that. Possibly two days out of the year on New Year's Eve, we might do a DJ or something like that. But and then we, we do a jukebox and we screen the music available for customers to play and we filter out all the aggressive um, hip hop and all that crap. Thank you. Thank you. Pardon my language. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Any, any other questions? Okay, do I have a motion to grant the entertainment license? I'll, I'll make a motion. Motion's been made by Councilman DiLorenzo. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Councilman Brady. Any, any other questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Item number nine, amusement center license. Town Council will consider a vote for the approval of an amusement center license for Camp Nowhere LLC DBA Camp Nowhere 1838 Smith Street, North Providence, Rhode Island, 02911. Any questions on the amusement license? Do I have a motion to grant? I'll make a motion. Motion been made by Councilman Second. DiLorenzo, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any further questions or comments? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? You guys have it. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, Good luck. Thank you to the council. Thank you. Item number 10, zone change amendment request. Town Council will consider approval of an application from Douglas Avenue Associates Incorporated and U.S. Development 2 LLC to amend the zoning ordinance of the town of North Providence to change lots 338, 339, and 365 on Assessor's Plat 6 from commercial general lots 338 and 339 and Commercial Village, Lot 365, to Manufacture and Limited. Mr. 
President, members of the council, my name is Thomas Moses. <coughs> I'm with the law firm Moses Afonso Ryan. Uh, at your earlier session at 6 o'clock, we discussed this uh, property uh, to be converted from uh, to uh, ML zoning. Uh, this is to allow for the development of the uh, self-storage facility that was uh, extensively discussed. Um, I can answer any further questions you want. It was uh, your earlier motion contemplated the zone change. I'm just going to make a, an initial motion to save to expedite this a little. That would be wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to entertain a motion that the testimony given and the evidence presented at the May 2nd, 2017, 6 p.m. meeting on the applicant's request to amend the comprehensive plan be incorporated into this record with regard to the applica applicant's request to amend the zoning ordinance and zoning map. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Giusti, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Would, is there anyone in the public, from the public that would like to speak? Okay. The second motion that the existing zoning ordinance, <coughs> ordinance and zoning map of the town of North Providence be amended so that the zoning of lots 338, 339, and 365 on Assessor's Plat 6, said premises bordering Douglas Avenue, as it appears on record as of this date in the Office of the Assessor of Taxes of said Town of North Providence, be changed from Commercial General, CG, and Commercial Village, CV, to Manufacturing Limited, ML. So moved. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Giusti, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Third motion, that a special use permit is hereby granted allowing for self-service, self-storage use on lots 338, 339, and 365 on Assessor's Plat 6. So moved. Motion has been made by Councilman Juicy. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Councilman DeStefanis. Any questions? There be none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. I'd like to entertain a motion that in <clears throat> connection with the self-storage use of lots 338, 339, and 365 on Assessor's Plat 6, a setback variance for a reduction in the rear setback from 30 feet to 5 feet is hereby granted. Only there's only going to be a five-foot buffer, is that what that's saying? Yeah. Yeah. Now, can you show them where the five feet's going to be? Um, Mr. President, members of the council, the five-foot uh, buffer is between the lot and uh, the Shores Plaza. It is not the, it's not the uh, dimension between the neighbors in Cushing Street. Okay, okay the motion's on the floors. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. Wait, wait, I got I to gotta get through the motion, then I'll okay. discuss it. Okay. Motion has been made by Councilman Giusti. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? <coughs> Councilman? So the, the area where they're five feet, we're discussing, yes. is that, so if I'm, I'm looking at the property, it shows us on my left. Yes. Is that the, so that five foot barrier would be where the Shores trucks pull in? Uh, no, actually, if I can show you. <coughs> All set. Any other questions? There being, mo may there being none, and motions have been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Fifth motion that the following restrictions shall apply to the zoning amendment A. That the amendment is approved based upon the plan submitted at the hearing 
which are incorporated herein by reference, and the Town of North Providence hereby approves the plans as submitted. B, that the amendment is approved based upon the recommendation and conditions contained therein of the North Providence Planning Board dated April 12, 2017, which are incorporated herein by reference. C, that the development complies with all other zoning and town regulations and state law regulations. D, that there will be zero runoff from the premise to the abutting properties. E, there shall be appropriate fencing and landscaping so that the premise is conducive to the abutting neighborhood. Said landscaping and fencing to be approved by the Town of North Providence Building and Planning Offices. I'd like to ent entertain that motion. So moved. Second. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Juicy, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Six. The sixth motion to introduce and advertise for public hearing an ordinance to amend the North Providence Zoning Ordinance and zoning map pursuant to the previous motions passed. So moved. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Juicy, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you. With that being said, before you leave, I'd like to commend the Carpionato group and uh, the second group as well, Attorney Poddington, his group, for working with our attorney, Attorney Welch. I know this was a long, tedious process. I know there's some 12 to 15 hours worth of work on his end, and I can imagine on your end. And uh, thank you for streamlining this and making our jobs a little easier and for coming to town. So, appreciate Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, item 11, zone change amendment requests. Town Council to consider approval of an application from Betty DiDonato to amend the zoning ordinance of the Town of North Providence to change lots 105 and 110 on Assessor's Plat 6 from Commercial General to Manufacturing Limited. So moved. Second. Okay, I'm going to start off with a motion that the testimony given at, and the evidence presented at the May 2nd, 2017, 6 p.m. meeting on the application's request on the applicant's request to amend the comprehensive plan to be incorporated into this record with regard to the application applicant's request to amend the zoning ordinance and zoning map. So moved. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman DeStefanis. Any questions? Are you none? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? You guys have it. Second motion that the existing zoning ordinance and zoning map of the Town of North Province be amended so that the zoning of lots 105 and 110 on the Assessor's Plat 6, said premises bordering Douglas Avenue, as it appears on record as, the, as of this date in the Office of the Assessors of Taxes of said Town of North Province, be changed from Commercial General CG to Manufacturing Limited ML. So moved. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman DeStefanis. Any questions? Maybe a none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? You guys have it. I'd like to entertain a third motion that a special use permit is hereby granted, allowing for auto body or paint shop on lots 105 and 110 on the Assessor's Plat 6. So moved. Second. second. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman Fiola. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. All right, number four, fourth motion. That the following restrictions shall apply to the zoning amendment. A, that the amendment is approved based upon the plan submitted at the hearing, which are incorporated herein by reference, and the Town of North Providence hereby approves the plans as submitted. B, that the amendment is approved based upon the recommendation and conditions contain, contained therein, of the North Providence Planning Board dated April 12, 2017, which are incorporated herein by reference. C, that the development complies with all other zoning and town regulations and state laws regulations. D, that there will be zero runoff from the premises to the abutting properties. E, there shall be appropriate fencing and landscaping so that the premise <coughs> is conducive to the abutting neighborhood. 
said landscaping offenses to be approved by the Town of North Providence Building and Planning Offices. I'd like to entertain that motion. So moved. Second. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman DeStefanis. Any questions? There you none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. And the fifth motion, to introduce and advertise for public hearing an ordinance to amend the North Providence Zoning Ordinance and Zoning Map pursuant to the previous motions passed. So moved. Second. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman DiLorenzo. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. It was our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Item 12, peddler license. Town Council to consider approval of a peddler license from Nicholas DiCenzo, DBA 12 volt, volt freak show to sell novelty, novelty items during events like Naughty Park fireworks and St. Anthony's feasts. Is Mr. DiCenzo here? Just to come up to the microphone and state your name for the record, sir. Nicholas DiCenzo. Do you need the address too? Uh, if you'd like, sure. All right, One Cane Road at Smithfield. Okay. I got a question for you. Councilman. Do you need, do you need permission from St. Anthony <coughs> to be selling that stuff over there? Um, when I spoke uh, to, uh, to clerk, uh, the clerk's assistant, they said the recreational department handles that um, for Naughty Park and for St. Anthony's, I would have to do both the recreational department and the church. Get permission from both of them. Yeah, you, you need permission from the church. Yes. Councilman? So, I guess, the, the, have, you, have you asked either one of them? Have you started the process to garner approval from either one of them? Uh, no, I, I haven't asked either one of them. I don't think, um, I think that's would also, if I want to be on their grounds, then I would need approval. Um, I would have to speak to a police officer because I think that I am able to sell in public parking space, um, like where there's street parking or something close to the event. Um, it, I think that's kind of more up to um, the law enforcement with that. But uh, to be on their grounds, I know I do have to have their permission and haven't done that yet. The plan on doing that? Yeah, well, of course, yeah. But before, usually a month or two before the event, I uh, reach out to them. I have their emails. I mean, I know how to get in contact with them. It's just it's uh, a little bit far away, so I really hadn't done that yet. Um, the, town, <coughs> the town clerk just informed me that he would have to get the peddler license first, then, which you're here for, and then you can seek permission from the, the body, the appropriate bodies. So uh, does anybody have any other questions? Uh, I do. Um, I'm sorry. That's so, hypothetically, and I hate to bother you about this, but the question's in my head. So, we grant you the pedal license. You contact the church or recreation. They say, no, you can't do it on, on the grounds. Are you still moving forward to sell the novelty somewhere? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, definitely whenever there's, there's events going on around here where there's like a uh, hundred or more people showing up to something, uh, I'd like to sell there. Um, you know, whenever there's a lot of passers-by, it would probably have to be a, things like the, the two main events you guys have that we mentioned, that would be ideal. But if not, uh, even at sporting events sometimes, because I, I already have my license for Providence, and it goes uh, pretty well even if there's any small sporting events. So things like that. Um, I would also like to be at. Councilman? Uh, what types of items? Can you give us some examples of what types of yeah, items? Yeah, I brought a couple with me if you want to see them. They're all just they're light up toys and then uh, light up apparel. That's what I got. Every, everything lights up, so it, usually it's kind of tough because you would have to sell at night because during the daytime you really can't see it. Councilman? Do you have a question? He asked a question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay, I'd like to entertain a motion to grant the peddler's license pending all the necessary requirements. I'll make a motion. Motion has been made by Councilman DiLorenzo. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Councilman Amarigi. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 
All those opposed? Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Item number 13, Lymansville Neighborhood Association, Council President Odiello request discussion and vote on reactivating the Lymansville Neighborhood Association to re revitalize areas in Lymansville. I put this item on the agenda because a resident reached out to me and uh, he was going to come to speak tonight. And I noticed he did call my phone a few times during the meeting, so I'm assuming that that's the reason why he's not here. But to not further delay this, I'll just briefly give a quick summary of, of what we're trying to do. I know the Lyman'sville Association does meet. Um, I received a phone call that they received a grant <coughs> and have some monies in an account. <laughs> Uh, that could revitalize some of the properties down in the Lyman'sville area. With that being said, they don't have a treasurer, they don't have a, a, a hierarchy or board, so I told him I would put this on the agenda so the town could possibly pay for, for the advertising to get some, some residents involved, possibly if we could put it in the breeze to see if uh, residents would be interested in getting involved in this association, and uh, we could start using some of this money to clean up some of the areas down in Lyman'sville. So I'm going to entertain a motion to, to uh, send a letter to the town or direct the town clerk to advertise in the North Providence Breeze for the Lyman'sville Neighborhood Association. Make a motion. Make second. Motion's been made by Councilman DiLorenzo, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? You guys have it. I don't know. Item number 14, signage on Conifer Drive. Councilman Amarigi requests discussion and vote on placing signage on Conifer Drive to help protect a child residing at 49 Conifer Drive. Councilman. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. So I was uh, contacted by uh, the resident, uh, the owner of 49 Conifer Drive. Um, she has an autistic child, uh, I believe around 10 years old, and uh, it's been brought to my attention that her, uh, the child's doctor has recommended as part of his therapy to uh, spend more time outside. Uh, as part of doing that, uh, I, I guess the way, well, not I guess, I saw the way that her property is set up, um, the main place for the child to play would actually be the front yard. Uh, the problem with that is he's uh, non-responsive autistic, and what that means is he doesn't always respond to his name being called, uh, nobody necessarily respond to, uh, say, a beeping horn or somebody yelling out of a car. Uh, I spent some time down there, and I did notice that some of the cars come down the road fairly quickly. So what the resident is requesting is some sort of signage be placed uh, near her property or at one of the junctions of Conifer and the abutting streets. I did include a couple of examples of uh, some signs that other municipalities use with regards to specifically autistic children, uh, but it could also be a matter of just a, like a slow children sign or, or something of that nature. You don't, you don't need to do anything. <coughs> just quote. DPW and they'll put that up. Yeah, there's, no, there's no ordinance or anything for that. Oh, just, okay. Just call DPW and they'll get one up right away. Slow children. Okay. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Slow children. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Manny. <laughs> I, I would make a motion, anyways, to send a letter to the DPW. Yeah. Just okay. To, yeah. Second. So a motion has been made to send a letter regarding signage on Conifer Drive by Councilman Amarigi, seconded by Councilman DiLorenzo. Any questions? I would just, when you contact DPW, I would, I would um, specify autistic child sign versus yeah, children at play. I've never done one of those, but I'm sure they yeah, I, I've, I've, I've seen, seen that. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. contacted yes. him, right? Is that what she wants, known? Yes. That, the, yeah. I, I mean, that would be her preference, yeah. but... All right, so motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Item number 15, Ferris Street. Councilman Amarigi requests discussion and vote on making Ferris Street a one-way street so that automobiles can only enter and not exit Ferris Street from Middle Spring Avenue. Councilman? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. So I was contacted actually on this one by numerous uh, residents on Ferris Street. Uh, just to give you a, a, an idea of the lay of the land there, when you're traveling uh, west, on Mineral Spring Avenue towards uh, Centerdale, there is a condo complex on the corner of Ferris Street and Mineral Spring Ave. Uh, at the base of the condo complex is a, a stone wall. Um, from anybody who's driven there, which is obviously all of us, uh, you know that you cannot see any, any of the automobiles coming off of Ferris Street from Mineral Spring Avenue. 
Uh, that's complicated by the fact that when the sun is setting, you, can't, you can basically see nothing because of the glare. Uh, conversely, when exiting uh, Ferris Street onto Mineral Spring, you basically have to pull your automobile onto Mineral Spring to be able to see around the wall. Uh, that has been recently complicated by the addition of uh, Atomic Salon to the Hilltop Plaza, which is the other, um, which is the business that abuts Ferris Street. Uh, his his uh, customers, and he does a very good business there, park, there's some parking spots on the side located directly on Ferris Street, uh, which makes it even uh, a tighter turn. And finally, obviously, during the winter, there's almost, it's basically a one lane road because of uh, the snow plowing. Uh, I understand that one-way streets are something that we need to consider seriously before uh, going and, and changing any ordinances or, or passing it. So what I did do, I took upon myself, is not only did I speak to some of the residents, I actually went into uh, the Hilltop Plaza and spoke to some of the uh, business owners. Uh, they were of the opinion, well, frankly, none of the business owners that I spoke to actually even use Ferris Street because of the dangerous nature of it. They go around to the other side to, to Easter Street to enter and exit. Uh, and they all seemed amenable to the idea. Their only caveat was they wanted it so people could enter Ferris Street from Mineral Spring Avenue. That way it wouldn't impede any business coming in and then they could leave uh, on the opposite street. Uh, again, I know this is probably something that we, we need to take seriously and not lightly, so uh, I was going to make a motion that we refer it to the Ordinance Committee for study and a recommendation to the Council as a whole. Second. Okay, motion has been made by Councilman Amarigi, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? Yeah, just out of curiosity, Councilman, um, everyone on Ferris Street is in agreement with that? Uh, I don't think every single person, but I was uh, reached out to by about a half a dozen um, who would be willing to come speak to the Ordinance Committee, or we could go out there even, uh, and I'd be willing, and I'm sure all the members of the Ordinance Committee would be willing to, to speak to as many residents as we could contact if that's the recommendation we came up with. Okay. How many people live on Ferris Ferris Street on the right hand side, which would be the street where the wall is, there's I believe three, yeah, three residences and then on the left hand side there's uh, a couple of apartment buildings. Uh, those seem to be a little more transient. I, I know at least, and I'm sure Ray would know too from campaigning purposes, it seems like those people change pretty frequently. It's the people on the right hand side in the condos and the, in the actual houses uh, that, that have voiced the concern and, and they're, most of them are long time residents of the area. Okay, motion's been made and seconded. Any further questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Item number 16, Town Council Chamber Refurbish Committee. Councilman Brady requests discussion and possible vote with regard to the report of the Town Council Committee to refurbish the Town Council Chambers to be presented. Councilwoman. Thank you, Mr. President. You all have a copy of the minutes of the April 17th meeting. I'd like to make a motion that we accept those minutes. So moved. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman Juicy. Any questions? I'd like to make a comment, Councilwoman. Thank you for putting this committee together. Um, maybe possibly being a little skeptical at first myself, but um, it, it was great. The meeting you put together and uh, having the designer come in it was great, and I, I commend you for doing that. Um, I think making this chamber more user friendly, more friendly to the public is, is a great idea and, and I think a perfect example was tonight. Um, we had a major zone change to our comprehensive plan and you had presenters, attorneys literally holding mm -hmm. boards up so I that we could see board, yeah. and no one in the audience could see it and there were people that should have saw that. So. Again, I thank you for doing that, and I hope we can move this along. Well, it's my pleasure, absolutely, to uh, help coordinate this effort, and uh, everyone is on board, and that's a pleasure to have everyone with us, as everyone has provided tremendous input to the effort. I have a second motion, Mr. President. Well, uh, 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 the first motion has been made in sec uh, sorry. second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? You guys have it, Councilwoman? You have before you a proposal for design of services from Libby Slater. I'd like to make a motion that uh, we send that proposal, we ask our council president, Ordiello, to sign that proposal uh, for those design services. Motion's been made by Councilman Brady. Is there a second? No, sir. Seconded by Councilman Juicy. Any questions? Maybe none. All those in favor? 
Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. 17, license renewals. Receive applica applications for the renewal of victualing, holiday sales, laundry, firearms, peddler, vendor, jujitsu, karate, extended hours, and 24 hour licenses. A lot of reading tonight, so bear with me. <laughs> I'd like to entertain a motion to approve the following victualing license. Andre's Dipped and Drizzle, Athens Diner, Avenue Grill, Bagel Express, Bailey's Pub, Best Eastern Restaurant, Best Taste Restaurant 2, Betty's Restaurant, Burger King number 10759, Cal's Corner, Captain's Catch, Carrie's Seafood Express, Catanzaro's Pizzeria, Charles Street Diner, Cheng's Kitchen, Cilantro's Restaurant, Larici Osteria Co Incorporated, Columbus Club of North Providence, and Coolix Creamery. <laughs> Copa Cabana, Coffee Connection, Dabo Alla Lunchbox, Dana's Sports Lounge, Dell's Lemonade, Di Patrillo's Pizza and Bakery, Dillon Council KFC, Dodge Gullius Post Number 29, Domino's Pizza Number 3905, Dunkin' Donuts 1800 Smith Street, Dunkin' Donuts 1592 Mineral Spring Avenue, Dunkin' Donuts 1871 Mineral Spring Avenue, Dunkin' Donuts, 1484 Middle Spring Avenue. Dunkin' Donuts, 1132 Middle Spring Avenue. <laughs> yeah. Anyone with Dunkin' Donuts want to come into town? <laughs> El Charo Restaurant, Friendly's, number 885. Golden Crust Pizza, Genesis Grill and Lounge, Geneva Diner, Green Basil Restaurant and Bar, Greystone Social Club, Halak Middle East Market, Healthy Heaven, Honeydew Donuts, Il Finello, Jackie's Galaxy of North Providence Incorporated, Jersey Mike Subs, Ken Walk, Koi Palace, Asian Cuisine, L.A. Bailey's, Lancelotis, Larry's Lounge, Lewis Crusoe Country Club, Lyman'sville Memorial Post, number 10011, Masala Indian Cuisine, Mary Lou's Coffee, Maisie's Restaurant, McDonald's, number 5367, Mediterranean Pizza, Mozzarella's Grill and Bar. Mr. Cigar, New Pekin Restaurant, Northside Pockets, Oki's Japanese Steaks, Steakhouse, Osho, Sushi and Bar, Basilipo Restaurant, Presentation Columbus Club, Red Ginger 2, Rhode Island College, Rhode Island Billiards, Riccati's, Rossi Cold Cuts in Delhi, Sammy's House of Pizza, Sam's New York System, Santoro's Pizza, Simply Seasonal, Sorrento Restaurant, Speedy Pizza, Subway, Sunny's Re Sunnyside Rec Club, Sweet Licks, Taco Bell, The Fire, Tina's Italian Kitchen, Tumble Sauce Cafe, Twins Pizza, You Scream Ice Cream, Veterans Rec Center, Walls Roast Beef, Wine and Cheese, Woodward, so Woodward Social Club. Do I have a motion for the victual license? Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Juicy, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? You guys have it. Do I have a motion? I'd like to entertain a motion for holiday license at AT&T, Cosmoproof, Cosmo Proof, Crudinale Bakery, Cumberland Farms, number 1224, Cumberland Farms, number 1256, CBS, number 351, Di Petrillo's Pizza and Bakery, Destiny Convenience Store, Dollar General, number 16122, Dollar Tree number 4632, Dollar Tree number 7082, Eastside Shell, Family Dollar number 7649, Family Pet Center, GNC, Happy Nails and Spa, HKB Market, Jiffy Lube number 775, JW Mini Mart, Kangaroo CDs and Tapes, Lowe's number 2863, Mineral Spring Ave, Getty, <clears throat> North Providence Shell, Ocean State Nutrition, Payless Shoe Sauce, number 5406, Pet Supplies Plus, Public Storage, Rainbow, Rite Aid, number 10248, Rite Aid, number 10255, Sally's Beauty Supplies, Sam's Food Store, Sam's Food Store, Seasons Corner Market, Shaw Supermarket, number 7443, Shaw's Market, Smith Street Express, Smith Street Shell, Smokestat Cigar Shop, Stop and Shop, Stop and Wash, Walgreens Pharmacy. Do I have a motion to approve the holiday license? So moved. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman Juicy. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. We have a motion to, for extended hours for Avenue Grill, Betty's Restaurant, Taco Bell, and Child Street Diner. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion has been made by Councilman DeStefano, second by Councilman Brady. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. 24-hour license. CBS number 351, Sam's Food Store, Seasons Corner Market, UFIT Health Clubs, Cumberland Farms, number 1224. Do I have a motion to approve this, the 24-hour license? 
So moved. Motion has been made by Councilman Amarigi. Second. Second. Seconded by Councilman Fiola. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Nay. Please note for the record, one nay. I'd like to entertain a motion to approve the laundry license for Baylong Laundry. Keep it clean, stop and wash, waterman laundry mat. So moved. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Juicy, seconded by Councilman Brady. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Ayes have it. I'd like to entertain a motion for firearms for Smith Hill Jewelry and Guns. Do I have a motion to approve firearms? So moved. Yes. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman Juicy. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? You guys have it. I'd like to entertain a motion for peddlers and vendors license for Dell's Lemonade, Food on the Move, Frisky Fries, Kona Ice, Shaved Ice, and Pelagi's Ice Cream. Do I have a motion for peddlers and vendors license? So moved. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman Juicy. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? You guys have it. And I'd like to, <clears throat> is there a motion for jiu-jitsu and karate R, for R.I. martial arts? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman DeStefanis. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. License renewals not in compliance. Town clerk request discussion and vote on the non-compliance of victualing renewal for Ronzio Pizza at 35 Smithfield Road and non-compliance of peddler renewal for Wolfie's Freezer Delight of 33 Atlantic Boulevard. Town clerk. We haven't gotten, we've called numerous times. We haven't gotten even the invitation, uh, the invitation, the application back. Um, there's some issues with one of them. He didn't call me back. Okay, do I have a motion to issue summonses to come in for next month's meeting? So moved. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman DiLorenzo. Any questions? There we go. Councilman? I just, just my question is, did we close them now? Or do we? Oh, no. no. All right. Well, okay, just curious. Not yet. No. We have to summon them in before All we right. do anything. Okay, motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Uh, Number 19, board appointments. Town council discussion and possible vote with regard to the appointments to be made to the following boards. Two reappointments to the North Providence Juvenile Hearing Board. Let's make a motion to reappoint. Okay, motion's been made by Councilman Juicy to reappoint Dr. Mary Archibald and Jennifer Carvalho. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? You guys have it. And two reappointments to the North Providence Land Trust Advisory Board. Make a motion to reappoint. Motion's been made by Councilman Juicy to reappoint Stephen Burrowick and John Rossi. Do I have a second? Second. second. Motion's been made by Councilman Juicy, seconded by Councilman DeStefanis. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. 20, claim submitted. Town Council discussion and possible vote with regard to the claim received by Patric Patricia Simone, 1800 Middle Spring Avenue, North Providence. I have a motion to refer the claim to the claims committee. So moved. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Juicy, seconded by Councilman Fiola. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? You guys have it. Item number 21, ordinance committee report. Town council discussion and possible vote with regard to the ordinance committee report and approval, denial, or referral of the items within said report to be presented by Councilman Juicy. Councilman? Make a motion that we uh, accept as submitted. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Juicy, seconded by Councilman Brady. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Item number 22, Finance Committee Report. Town Council discussion and possible vote with regard to the Finance Committee Report and approval, denial, or referral of items within said report to be presented by Councilman DeStefanis. Councilman. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'm going to pass this down, um, Mary, and these actually are the presentations that go with the minutes. Um, 
Mr. President, the meeting was on April 10th. Um, first item on the agenda was tax abatements over a thousand. There were not any to be discussed that evening. Second item on the agenda was a vote regarding covered trash receptacles. MTG uh, Corporation came in and gave a presentation which is on file with the clerk. Um, and the committee was in favor of trash receptacles. Um, but we did not take a vote due to, the, due to a contract extension would be required. So we're recommending that the, uh, we make a motion to send a letter to the administration to look into the proposal and if in fact, you know, they choose to move forward with a contract extension. We'll make a motion for that. Motion's been made by Councilman DeLorenzo. Is there a second? Second. Second. Seconded by Councilman Fiola. Any questions? There being none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? You guys have it. Yep. And then, Mr. President, the last item on the agenda that evening was the $75 million school bond. The school finance director, along with the bond council from PFM, uh, were kind enough to come in and give us a presentation. And the presentation, uh, which, again, I'm so sorry, is uh, on file with the clerk, basically explained how the bond would be drawn down. Currently, they're sitting in a pretty adv advantageous bond market um, and they're doing a break-even scenario. So one plan is to draw down $40 million in this current fiscal year and $35 million in the following fiscal year. Um, and then, like I said, they're doing a breakout, uh, even analysis to kind of gauge where that bond market might be in a year um, and should they be pulling it all down at once. Um, the repayment plan looks to be about 20 to 25 years, depending on how long they phase in the bond, you know, the bond drawdown. And the payment, you know, could start as low as a million twenty-five thousand per year, as we see in this year's budget, um, what the administration is budgeting for, to once the full bond is drawn down and to two and a, two point two to two point three million dollars. So it's an actual great presentation. I advise everybody to skim through it um, but I make a motion to accept the minutes as is on file with the clerk second motion has been made by Councilman DeStefanis seconded by Councilman Brady and Councilman DeStefanis I'd like to commend you for having bound council in although I was not at that meeting I did hear that that presentation was very very helpful to all so thank you. interesting thank you it was very interesting. motion has been made second it any questions there being none all those in favor Aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Item number 23, tax addendas, town council discussion and action, possible vote. For the approval of a list of tax addendas received from tax assessment in the amount of $349.36 for motor vehicles, do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman Justy. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Tax abatements under a thousand. Town Council discussion and action. Possible vote for the approval of the list of tax abatements under a thousand received from the tax assessor in the amount of one thousand five hundred and seventy-four dollars and twenty-six cents for motor vehicles. Do I have a motion to abate? So moved. So moved. Second. Motion been made by Councilman Brady, seconded by Councilman Fiola. Any? Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Aye. Ayes have it. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Juicy, seconded by Councilman Brady. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. 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 Aye.